For the fact, Mrs. A, this fragrance sits well on her skin, may not sit well on my skin because we have different body chemistry. I found peace in your violence. Can't tell me there's no point. In hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel so today's video is all about picking your signature scent smelling good is very very important so in today's video i'll be telling you things that has helped me in finding and picking my signature scent and couple of scents so these fragrance are things i really really love and they are fragrance i could rotate throughout the year and i also love myself when i wear them so if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe and let's get right into the video the first tip when trying to pick out your signature scent is try as many as possible this is basically for people who don't really know about perfume or are just starting out with perfume or fragrances so trying as many as possible will give you room to know what kind of fragrance or what kind of scent you like right you could go to stores where they sell perfume to try out this perfume so when trying out this perfume please try them on your skin and allow this perfume to sink into your skin before you can say oh i like this fragrance oh i hate this fragrance you could go for the sample size of these fragrances especially if these fragrances are expensive trying out sample size perfumes enable you to know if you want to commit to buying the big size of this perfume on the long run so it's just like you not wasting money so if you try sample sizes especially the expensive perfume they give you a hint of oh i like this perfume oh i don't like it so i'm not going to buy it so you're not going to waste money in committing to buying a big size perfume where you don't where you're not even sure if you're going to like this fragrance or not so also dupes are another way of knowing if you want to commit to a perfume so you could look for dupes of high-end perfumes and try them and see if you really like this fragrance you're about to buy before committing to those high-end perfumes so dupes like ara perfumes that are dupes of high-end brands will give you a hint if you're going to like this expensive perfume if you get them right so the next tip in picking out signature scent is knowing the notes of the fragrance so like i said try out fragrances as many as possible so after trying out this fragrance, you now know the ones you like. Now when you get to find out, oh, I love this fragrance, try and know the notes that are in that fragrance. This will give you a hint of, oh, the kind of notes you love in a fragrance, right? And the website I recommend in searching for notes of a fragrance is Fragrantica. Fragrantica is a very, very wonderful website. This website will break down the notes in a fragrance, we also tell you the longevity of this fragrance. We also tell you the sillage of this fragrance. We also tell you the projection of this fragrance. We also recommend similar perfumes or similar notes to that fragrance you love. And you also see reviews of people that have used this fragrance. They will tell you things about the fragrance, what you should expect when using this fragrance. I love that website so much because the website just breaks down everything about a fragrance. You tell me the notes longevity projection sillage and um, they also be similar fragrance so just imagine i love this fragrance and i'm seeing something similar it recommend similar fragrance that people that like this fragrance are going to also like this fragrance i don't know if you understand what i mean but this website i really really love it when going to know the notes that are in a fragrance for fragrance there are three types of notes you should be aware of you have the top notes we have the middle notes we have the base note right so for the top notes this is the first thing that hits you when you spray a fragrance this is the first thing you perceive when you spray a fragrance it lasts between 5 to 15 minutes so once you spray a fragrance you smell it that is the top note so after the top note the next note you should be smelling is the middle notes now the middle notes last for 20 to 60 minutes and this note form the essence of a fragrance so next note after the middle note is the base notes right this is the note in which 
the fragrance dry down too so this is the final note this is the note that can tell you oh i like this fragrance i don't like this fragrance and these notes last for greater than six hours depending on how long that fragrance is meant to last right so the base note is the last note this is the dry down note of a fragrance so you have to know the note of a fragrance and this will help you to know the kind of fragrance you gravitate to and you love there are different types of fragrance based on notes so if you know the note of fragrances you love you can just know what kind of fragrance you gravitate to right and so you have the floral notes you have the woody notes you have the oriental notes and you have the fresh notes. so under the floral notes you have the floral you have the soft floral and you have the floral oriental notes so under the oriental notes you have the soft oriental you have the oriental itself and you have the woody oriental so under the woody notes you have woody you have the moss woody and you have the dry woody notes right? so under the fresh notes you have the fruity notes you have the green notes you have the citrusy notes you have the aromatic notes and you have the water notes I will leave an example of the things you should be expecting in each like in the sub notes of these things right so like i said before knowing the notes of a fragrance just make you to know the kind of fragrance you gravitate to and it's very very important so the next tip is give your fragrance some time before concluding so basically when you spray a fragrance the first note that hits you is the top note and you may make your conclusion based on the top notes like oh i love this fragrance mm, it's nice you may like the top notes but the middle note and the base note is not something you like so that's why when you spray a fragrance you be like oh i love this fragrance you buy it you go home and you'll be like what what is what is this that's because you're now smelling the middle and the base notes so and then sometimes you may hate the top notes when you when you spray the fragrance for the first time the top note just hits you and you're like what the hell is this i hate this fragrance but as the fragrance starts to dry down you'll be like oh this is not so bad oh i love this oh that's because you love the middle note and the base note so before making your conclusion on a fragrance give the fragrance time this fragrance has dried down and you say oh i perceive the middle notes i perceive the top notes i perceive the middle note i'm, I'm now perceiving the base note which is the final note. i'm like oh i like this fragrance you can now make your conclusion oh i don't like this fragrance before buying any fragrance give that fragrance time so the next tip when trying to pick your signature scent is body chemistry i basically want you to keep in mind what is called body chemistry when picking out a fragrance or when it comes to fragrance when it comes to fragrance body chemistry is very very important and body chemistry affects a fragrance right so what is body chemistry i know that's the question now so body chemistry is different oils on our body that depends on how a fragrance will last and how a fragrance smell on our body and how a fragrance sits on our skin so have you ever wondered a fragrance everybody and their grandmothers and everybody and everybody likes this fragrance there's so much rave about this fragrance or maybe on tiktok just there's so much re good reviews about this fragrance and then you spray this fragrance and it's just like there's just something off about this fragrance the fragrance is not just giving on your skin that is your body chemistry so Body chemistry is very important. For the fact, Mrs. A, this fragrance sits well on her skin, may not sit well on my skin because we have different body chemistry. So that's why I always say when you want to test out a fragrance, the best way to test out a fragrance is on your skin, not on paper, not on anything. Spray that fragrance on your skin. Let, allow the, give the fragrance time to sit into your skin let it sink into your skin then you smell and then you can now judge that fragrance based on your body chemistry don't go and spray fragrance on paper mm -hmm. then you now get home you now spray it on your skin there is now it's not giving spray your fragrance when trying out new fragrance on your skin to know if you like this fragrance to know if your body chemistry is also good with this fragrance that's the different oils in your skin is good with this fragrance before giving or having a conclusion about that fragrance 
So another tip when picking out signature scents is choosing your fragrance based on your personality, essence and style. This is very important because you want to get a fragrance that align with who you are. That's why sometimes you have to go with your instinct while picking out a fragrance. Right? For example, if you're an introverted person, you want to go and search for perfume for introverts. That's just who you are. So getting a fragrance like that will just match your vibe. I think that's the word. Will just match your vibe as a person. As an individual matching fragrance with your personality takes you to the next level and this enhances you very very well because this fragrance describes who you are as an individual depending on your personality there are different fragrances for you as an individual if you're calm there's a fragrance for you if you're gentle if there's a fragrance for you if you're someone that is very loud vibrant extroverted there are fragrance for different personality type so matching your fragrance with your personality just take you as an individual to the next level the next tip in picking out your signature scents is choosing fragrance based on environment and weather so where you live your environment and the weather can influence you in picking out a fragrance so if you live in a hot environment or if for for instance the weather in that country or that environment is a hot season the summer season you could go for fresh scents you could go to website and look for best summer fragrances you could go to website and look for fragrance that complements a weather like fragrance that is good or thrives in hot weather this will just help you to get a good fragrance for that weather right so wearing some certain fragrance in hot weather can make you feel a certain kind of way because tell me why the weather is hot and you're wearing wood it's too loud like like the weather is already hot why am i wearing wood in a hot weather so weather environments play a very great factor in you picking out a fragrance so it's better to go for something lighter during the hot weather why when it's cold when it's colder season or colder weather you could go for something bold earthy and solid this can this kind of fragrance complements the colder weather but when it's hot everybody's finding their safe and you now walk into a place and you are smelling wood. Wood is just everywhere. I will just run and leave you. So the next tip in picking out your signature scent is choosing fragrance based on how you dress and what you are wearing for an occasion. So how you dress as a person and what you are currently wearing to an event or an occasion to work can influence the kind of fragrance you should put on as an individual. So for example, if you're dressing to work, like if you work in the hospital, I don't see why you're wearing something very loud. Especially if you're working or you're treating children. I don't see why you're wearing something loud. You should wear something calm, cozy, fresh, you know, light. So it depends. There are some events you want to go to and like you want to stand out. You want to make a statement. You get then you can wear your loud perfumes so that's why i said how you dress the events what you're wearing where you're even going to can influence the kind of perfume you should pick your signature scent right so if you're wearing something light flowy sweet it's better to go for something light floral sweet fruity scent right so if you're going to just be that sexy bold elegant you know out there lady you can if you're going to put on those kind of outfits you can go for those kind of fragrance so you can complement what you're wearing right depending on what you're putting on should also match with the kind of fragrance you're wearing if you're going to the gym you're putting out your gym wear you're feeling sexy then you should go for sexy fragrance not loud fragrance i want to choke everybody in the gym because everybody's already sweating and then you're coming with food do you get so match your fragrance to what you're putting on and how you dress and even the place you're going to so that it just complements you and what you're wearing next tip in picking out your signature scent is choosing fragrance based on health condition this particular one is very very important choosing your fragrance based on your health condition 
is very 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 important it's something you cannot joke with because there are fragrances that trigger some health conditions especially fragrances that are very strong and choking so for example health conditions like asthma if you're asthmatic you're very atopic you have breathing problems there are fragrances that can trigger nausea dizziness there are fragrances that can trigger seizure there are fragrances that can trigger um, trigger migraine like when you just smell this fragrance it wants to knock you off so please if you have those kind of problem you need to be very careful in picking out the kind of fragrance you use if you are asthmatic you should not be with fragrance that want to choke you to death you know there are just different fragrance that can trigger a lot of things so please avoid those fragrance i, I personally have, have experienced the headache one I was just I just sprayed a fragrance and it was about to knock me off, you know. I was feeling like I was I was feeling very lightheaded. I almost, you know, I almost fainted because of a particular fragrance. So if you're someone like that that you know that your head cannot carry some certain kind of fragrance, please avoid them. You must not use every fragrance, right? Look for the one that will not bring out health issues or trigger the issues you already have in your body in your system if you have problems like this consider getting light simple fragrances that will not knock you off that will not send you to any grave right avoid all those strong fragrances that want to you know get so there are different fragrances pick the one that will benefit you not the one that will cause you more problems especially if you have health concerns you must not use every fragrance so pick fragrance that will not give you health issues and will not trigger the health issues you already have so this comes to the conclusion of this video if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please 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 hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video if you have any question concerning this video please leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer your question and i'll see you in my next one thank you so much for watching i love you so much Bye. <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you.